All right, we are here with Rob Hessenauer. How you doing, bud? Good. So we're gonna actually uh, do a deckless video with the 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 highly sought after and highly effective angry black curling build. So now this is like your baby. You've been working on a aggressive angry curling for a while now. Yeah. So how many? How long have you been working on this deck? I've been working on it since Jacksonville Regional. I don't remember. That was. So last last OP season Jacksonville yeah. Regional was that like towards the end or so like November? was it November? It was it was muggy Jacksonville. I don't even remember. Yeah. All right. So yeah. how have you done like this rendition of the deck? You've been playing black curling for a while, but yeah. this rendition of the deck, how's this been doing for you? This is good. Um, this rendition of the deck it has been set since uh, the first time I entered it in a tournament was the Case Tournament. In Glassboro. Uh, Glassboro. Yep. Comic book store. Which went well. And then I brought it to the ARG Pittsburgh. So how did you do in the, the case tournament? Oh, uh, this deck this deck won the case tournament. There you go. There you go. Okay, so how did ARG Pittsburgh go for you? Uh, top 8 for ARG Pittsburgh. Top 8. That's very respectable. Very respectable. Alright, so why don't we just uh, go over and just like scan over the list here we got sure. working with. So we're just going to take a brief look over. Look how beautiful and how many foils this deck has, Rob. Good yeah, job. Working on the foils. Good job. Too. So I'm gonna just hover over here, Angry Krillin. So you gotta tell me, bro, why are you playing Angry Krillin? What sells you on Angry Krillin? The best thing about Angry Krillin is level two Krillin. Mm-hmm. Uh, energy attack, cost of three stages, damage four life cards. Hit your opponent, discards a card from his hand. So you can say like a lot of the uh, control Krillins, they talk about smoothness drill. Well, really, Krillin level two is kind of like smoothness drill, except instead of you're you're keeping an extra card, you're making your opponent have less one card. Exactly. And then you're also doing an attack. And you're pretty much guaranteed to get up to level two with commands and the other variant anger cards. And then once you get to level two, you have the opportunity to dig up to three for the unpreventable ten, which is always sought after. Yeah. Or you could always do a triple um, power. Um, Triple power, triple level power turn per turn. Yep. Yeah, you've Those done that a few nice. times. You did that once against me, I remember, and it literally killed me because it does about forty cards. Like yeah. it does about thirty cards, depending on your other cards in your hand. So. All right, so let's just scan over what we what our card choices are here. So yeah. first, why don't we look at we got the Dragon Balls here. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your Dragon Ball setup you got. I like Ball One because it adds damage and protects the other balls. Um, I like Ball Two because I'm allowed to I can de level myself if I need to. It's also it's also really good against the current meta, Sal and Roshi and um, the Blue Dominus decks that are out there. Mm -hmm. Ball four is just um, black is very weak on discard um, board control, mm -hmm. so ball four is always a great ball to have in your deck. Ball six because it adds to your PR and um, protects your energy beats. Yep, yep. And ball seven because it's a it's a clutch ball. <laughs> and the best ball in the game. Yeah, gotta run ball seven, especially if you're running radar, right? Right. All right, so we got not that many, uh, not that many setups and drills. A little bit mm -hmm. less than uh, typical Krillin build plays. Mm -hmm. So we got visiting the past. Of course, that's always good. So you are running uh, two searching techniques. That's right, two techniques. Only two. So why, why only two? At first, I wasn't running any techniques, and I was going for the strong uh, energy beat on deck. But my uh, one of my team members. <laughs> Slash brother Keith <laughs> uh, told me that being able to cherry pick two cards in your opponent's deck is a crucial, crucial way to attack your win. Right. You can get rid of things like you know Dragon Radar against other ball decks, or you can just get yeah. rid of like Time is a Warrior's Toll. Also, you know, as, as, you, so as you can see, a lot of this deck has a lot of uh, endurance, so you can also get rid of the digs or the unpreventable attacks from your opponent. Yeah, we actually just counted it. What did we say? 64? 64, yeah. 64 endurance in this deck. Alright, so we got two, only two black power-ups. Yeah. You gotta tell me. Why not three? Well, because you're you're pretty aggressive and you don't want to keep drawing to power-ups or um, extra setups. You want to keep your your count at two and also because of blind energy move, mm -hmm. you have uh, two other ways here to get out of combat. So okay, I like that. So blinding energy it. move is kind of like an aggressive way to get out of combat. Exactly. And then also, uh, since you're leveling in this deck, the stages don't matter as much, right? Yes. Yeah. So three declarations, of course, got to run out of three. No question there. All right, so we talked about blinding. What's your favorite thing about blinding energy move? Uh, favorite thing about blinding energy move is um, entering with blinding energy move. <laughs> Your opponent uses... Like um, visiting or something visiting, like that. and they use... 
uh, relaxation. Ball seven. They have a, a game plan in mind, and Blinden just destroys their game plan. Yeah. All right, so two, uh, two empowered elbows, two yeah. foils. I like this. The empowered elbows are in there because, once again, the only uh, board control Black has is yeah, declaration, all four and all declarations. Four, yeah. So the empowered elbows are a guaranteed get rid of their drills. So cards, so decks that rely on their drills pretty heavily, this is a great uh, card to have in there. Plus, it also has endurance. Or yeah, very important. Endurance is very yeah. important. So it'll even the playing field against other black decks. It'll kill their smoothness. Exactly. And then it'll also really help you in the orange matchup. This is one of my favorite things to have against the um, the mirror match black hole. Yeah. So I gotta tell you, probably the strangest thing that you're running in this deck compared to other other Kr Krillin builds is uh, the Blinding Burst card. So That's I don't see my favorite this, card. In this, this is deck. A, this is a Rob H original right here. Three Blinding favorite Burst. Favorite card in this deck. So tell me about that. Everything about this card is amazing. There's nothing bad about it. Endurance too. <laughs> Energy Let's attack. Start with that. Energy attack. Five life cards with the mastery. That's six. Ball one. That's seven. Yeah. And it gains an anger. Not only that, you can ditch it with the mastery. Yeah, really solid card. It's just perfect. progressive. It gives you that extra anger. So it's basically the question of yourself: Do you want to run Black Lunge or do you run want to run Blinding Energy Burst? Uh, blinding, Black, Black Blinding Burst. burst. Well, this is an extra endurance and does an extra life card. Yeah. Well, yep. And then also, um, you know, uh, against Namekian decks, you never want to give them the option to flinch. True. Yeah. So we got three discs. Yes. Of course, nice. that's an excellent card. You're playing Krillin. You gotta play three of them. Got three crushing three beams. Crushing beams. So, so now, uh, so one of the things I talk to Chrome players about is sometimes they don't have the stages. Mm -hmm. So you play three crushing beams. Yeah, it's a solid attack. Um, this this deck doesn't run too many costly attacks. As you can tell, these right here are the primary costly attacks. Mm -hmm. So if you can time things pretty right, where you only have one crushing beam in your hand as your costly attacks, mm -hmm. and if you're gaining stages. And level and you'll be able to afford the crushing beams. So now I don't see pesky barrage in this list. Mm. Uh, have you tried pesky barrage? Um, I have not, but I would I would rather keep a crushing beam in there than a pesky for the endurance and for the banished life cards. Right, and it goes back in your deck, so that's just being able to cycle that is extremely strong. Uh, also, with ball seven shuffling your deck with crushing beam is a great combo. Yeah, depending. So Optic Blast. Optic Blast 3 of probably one of the strongest freestyle attacks you got out there. Yeah, it's definitely your highest damage potential attack in this deck. Yeah. Yeah, so good card. Got three Sinister Chokes, so uh, you know, unlike a lot of Krillins, I, I made the uh, I made the the statement earlier that a lot of Krillins are playing more physical attacks than energies, and you certainly are packing on way more energy attacks than you are physical attacks. You can totally afford it when you're bouncing levels. Mm -hmm. With the angry Krillin, absolutely. Yep. So you got three chokes, got to run those. Dismissal, how how those been mm, doing for you? I love dismissals. Um, it's it's almost everything you want it to be. You can It's a card you can ditch with your mastery. I was realizing as I was building this deck, a lot of the cards were pretty freestyle, so I needed to pack in some more uh, black cards in this deck. And uh, Black Dismissal has a great endurance tech to it, endurance too. Uh, it's a solid attack to do five stages and one life card with the mastery and you gain four stages So being able to predict when your opponent attacks you and gain those stages back with dismissal um, Is super helpful. Yeah, it really helps you in the red turles matchup and could possibly stage lock another like Krillin deck or something like yeah. that Yeah, it's very versatile. So you got two I'll dig your grave. So two why not three? What's going on with two? What do you like this card? Uh, uh, two I'll dig your graves um I originally, before I switched it over, I was running two Sin Chokes and three Digs. But I dropped down the Dig and brought in a third Sin Choke for the very reason that you have Disc, you have Sin Chokes, you don't have need too many of your attacks being up or down. Mm -hmm. Your Dig is solely for the, the level hopping, and right. um, you can bait them with your Choke and do an extra, and a, pretty much a Choke on one of your other levels. Okay. So you got two Wall Breakers, like it at two. I do. I would prefer three, but two is where you got to be right now. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that aren't running too many anger builds now because of Sal. Right. Agreed. And I got ball two in here too. So of course. Nice. Exactly. So your block setup, you got looks like five energy and six physical plus time, of course. So mm. why'd you settle on these blocks? I settled on this guy right here, Black Resistance. 
uh, anger is great, and the endurance is goes well with the uh, the uh, build for a deck. Three swipes. I prefer three swipes over three resistance. Of course. For the very fact that you have so much control with swipe. Yeah, so swipes are amazing. Controlly cards you can you put in there. Um, the stop physical attacks here. Black knee catch. Uh, two anger. Great card endurance one and black finger block. I actually um, had my uh, stop physical count at five. Mm -hmm. But once I played against. Uh, Namekian Saw was consistently u losing to Namekian Saw. Mm -hmm. So the, the uh, sixth stop physical really brought up that game match too. Instead of losing maybe, um, you know, 80% of the time, I would maybe lose about 40 to 50% of the time. Okay, so just that extra block for his level 3 power. Okay, super helpful. Really like your list. This is like just my favorite Black Krillin list that I've ever seen and played with. Uh, the tug of wars. The oh, the tug of wars. Uh, of course, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we got these. So I mean, two tug of wars. Any specific reason why you run two tug of wars? I don't have too much ally tech in here against the tag team matchup, but I do have a lot of crits with Krillin. Mm -hmm. So tug of war is just a great card against like uh, the twenty ally, or maybe they have Ginyu on the field. Um, it's just a great card to come come out, or if Nappa's out and you don't want him out there, you right. can just tug of war. Plus, it's also Anger tech and it shuffles up your deck for ball seven. Mm -hmm. So three commands. What's the best card? Is this the best card in the deck? Uh, <laughs> it's a great card. I wouldn't consider it the best card, but uh, it's <sighs> command. It does it does so <laughs> much for you. So what's your favorite thing to do with command? My favorite thing to do with command is to first use Chrome level one power. And then after he's Chrome Level Power, Ditch Command with my Mastery, gain 4 Anger. 4 Anger. They don't expect a 4 Anger gain, um, especially against blue decks. They have you locked at 2 or 3 Anger. They think, oh, no way, he's level 1. Right. And then you use Command, and you level up the 2, and they're like, oh, shoot, what just happened? Yeah. And then 3 4 Shadows, more Unstoppable Damage, and Endurance 3. And endurance 3, yeah, adds up to the Endurance tech, and it does Unstoppable Damage. G generally, I find myself ditching 4 Shadow with my Mastery a lot. So that can play for Shadow Linking with a BTP or a Ball Seven, um, but I do I do like it at three up right now. Yeah. So really awesome list, Rob. Great job on this guy. We love it. Everyone loves it. Everyone's been asking me about this list. So if there was like one card that you were trying to work in, mm -hmm. or one card that you were try considering for this deck, sure. Is there any card that you're considering right now? Um, I was thinking about potentially. Add in another dig, mm -hmm. or maybe peskies. Maybe. Me? No, I'm not doing peskies. <laughs> so maybe a third dig. People, but definitely people who not say peskies are a must in Black Girl and uh, they'll they'll lose games because they'll get stage locked. Yeah. There, okay. it's getting stage locked is one of the most devastating thing, thing things that happened to Black Girl, and, which is why I run dismissals and commands and ways to level. Which I found that running um, Black Crone early on in my at uh, Jacksonville, it's like so devastating getting stage locked. So pesky is just you can't afford that. It's too much. All right, wise words from the Black Crone player. All right, well thank you, Rob, for doing this deck list for us, and yep. this is going on the channel, sir. All right, thanks, DDA. All right.